What's going on everybody? I got a little bit different style video for you today. But first, you know we gotta run the intro. All right, so I'm gonna recap this weekend in like a story mode, more than just like a I take you with me video. I wasn't happy with how the, the video's coming together, so I scrapped it all, and this is what we're going to do. My day started, as usual, filming for you guys. Good morning, everybody. So I was on my way to go get the shack in Turtle Lake, uh, pick out a spot on the map, talk about it, scout the area once we get there. I was with Dad and Steve. We were looking at the map, we were drilling holes, we were checking the depths of the Vexlar and putting the camera down there, and we thought we were in a perfect spot. Alrighty, we drilled some holes. We found the 20 foot spot, that's where we wanna be jigging. We found the drop off, and that's where we're gonna line up on, and we're on the, the inside turn of it. A nice, so it's a steep incline, steep incline, and then it's slow incline. That's where you wanna be. So Steve pulls into position, uh, Dad pulls into position. I go to whip around, and uh, I, I wasn't going fast enough. Whoopsies. <laughs> Got myself stuck, my bad. I hit a snow drift, I didn't notice, slowed down, and now I'm on the ice. So once Dad pulled me out with the toe strap, I swung myself around, kept the speed up this time to get to that snow bank, and uh, then we, I just started drilling holes. I drilled my first one, got the tip up in, and then we were getting ready. Just had the camera down there. We are on a huge rock pile, which is nice. And I saw two, they were either really nice bass, walleye, or a small northern. I couldn't tell, they were a little too far away. But they were swimming around about a foot, almost a foot and a half off the bottom. So I'm gonna run out there just on my tip-ups a little bit. I only got them six inches. I'm gonna move up to a foot. Maybe then we'll have a little more success. So we saw fish on the camera. We saw the rock pile. We found the drop off. Everything was perfect. We were right on the, the transition line between rock and sand. We were money and then we had seen fish on the camera. So we were pumped and uh, yeah. It turned out to be uh, maybe just the only two fish all weekend that swam by us happen to swim by when we put the camera down. Hey! So, bad news. Last night, uh, the, no fish. We caught nothing. Um, one, one or two rock bass and that was it. So, we're back out here for the tournament though. It's so early we didn't really have a chance to move. So I'm going to give it a few hours here halfway through the tournament and then we'll probably move a little bit and... See if we can't find some fish if we don't get anything by then. But we're just hanging out now. So knock out wood. We're in a good spot. Like I said before, we're in a textbook good spot to have fish be swimming by and get some tip ups. So hopefully we can get at least one flag today and it'll be the winning fish. So bring you guys back if anything exciting happens. Halfway through the day. No one has even marked a fish at this point. So I decided that I'm gonna pull up the lake map and go drill holes and see if I can't find any, mark any, and uh, maybe catch one or two on, on the jig pole to give myself a chance in this contest. All right, so it's not going well. So I'm gonna go pop some holes around the lake, see if I can't uh, mark anything, try to catch a crappie. And if they're, if they're active enough, I'll move the whole shack over there. So, taking you guys with me. Let's go see if we can't find some fish, huh? Spot one, bust. <clears throat> Two look promising, but uh, ultimately failed. Spot three is a bust. Spot four and four and a half, nada. It's been so long.
long since I caught a fish. I forgot what they look like on the Vexar. All right, I'm taking a look at the map. Maybe drill one or two more holes. We'll see. A lot of brown weeds, I don't think you're catching any of that. Well, that hole came up clean, so let's check it. Ah, one more spot, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know if they're 30 or 40 feet. I don't know if they're 10 feet. I've drilled holes in locations that should have fish, and I haven't even marked one yet. So I don't know. I just don't know what to think right now. Um, I think I'm just going to go back and try maybe one or two spots over where we are now and see what happens. I think that's what we'll do. Actually, I'm gonna do one over here on this point and then head back. So, let's go do it. Ooh, this is getting, it's getting a little disheartening. I actually have a fish, there's actually a mark. Oh my God. I'm gonna go see if I can convince anyone to bring their shacks down here. I might just come down here by myself, but we'll see. That last spot I was is where we usually go when we go fishing on this lake. But uh, we all kind of wanted to try somewhere different. We were never having really good luck on the tip-ups in that spot. And with the contest, that's really what you're aiming for. You know, four out of the six species you catch on tip-up to try to win money. So that's what we were aiming for uh, when we chose the spot that we did instead of this one. Maybe that was a mistake in hindsight. Obviously all the scouting was pointless. I didn't even mark a fish until the last spot where we usually go. And uh, by the time I got back, it was too late to try to move everyone over there because by that time the contest was gonna be over, we all would have had to have ran up to the landing and see who won any door prizes or who got first, second, third in the fish prizes. So it was too late. We were stuck where we were, but we hooked up, hooked up the shack, pulled all my tip-ups, had everything ready, so then when we were done at the landing for the results of the contest, uh, we could head over there and maybe just try to catch a fish for the night. And uh, I'm glad we did, because as soon as I got there, as soon as I put lines down, I was marking them, I was missing them like crazy though. Just every time I went to set the hook, nothing there. And then finally, the plan comes together. Bam! We did it! We finally did it! Two whole days! Two days to catch this nasty cancerous crappie that's gonna get thrown on the lake. Cause I don't want to put that back in the lake. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's pretty cancerous. I'm not sure what it is, but it's not good and I don't want to keep it in the lake. So it's going out on the ice for eagle food. That's a nice crap. I gotta weigh this thing. 13 ounces. We did it, we finally did it. It took me two days to catch one fish, but we, we, we finally did it. Now it's time to pack up and go home. And that wrapped up the weekend. Uh, right after that fish, I think I, I put the jig back down and caught a couple little guys. And then uh, we, wrapped, we, we legitimately wrapped everything up and headed back home. Now, I hope that uh, this kind of video wasn't too bad for you guys. It's the first time I'm ever gonna edit one like this. Might not be the last if I ever end up with the footage the way I did this time again. You might see this type of video again. Hit that like button if you liked it. Um, but yeah, this weekend was fun, regardless of not catching fish. Ice fishing is always fun. Uh, congratulations to people in our group. They want an ice auger. I want a, a nice sweatshirt. So, you know, the, the weekend wasn't a complete waste. Comment below. Are you guys having any luck out there ice fishing this year? I know my year's been kind of slow. We're hitting up our usual spots and we're catching some fish, but it's it's not been crazy, obviously. Um, comment below, you guys having luck? Where are you at? Are you way up north? Are you down south? Do you not even ice fish? Let me know what you guys are up to. It's always nice to uh, see what fellow anglers are experiencing and if it's around the same thing you are or not. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate every last view that you guys are giving me. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll uh, see you on the ice. I don't have anything to, you're too far away, I can't, can't hit you this time.
do its breeding. No, Ooh. not in the water. 